Hello, dear friends. This is Yule Humphreys. I want to share a brief message with you, and uh, about a ten-minute message. And I, I uh, pray God will bless it as it goes out all over the world. Amen. I'm from Psalm 118. I'm going to speak to you on the fact that the Lord God is a good God. He's a good God, and I thank God for that. Psalm 18 says, Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. He's looking on you right now, dear Christian, and he's loving you, and he w he's going to do some good things for you. He's going to open some good doors for you. He's going to help you find a way. And he's going to help you come and go in a way that pleases God and helps your fellow man. Do good, trust him now, and give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. We ought to give thanks about a lot of things. I thank God. Sometimes, sometimes I get kind of lonely here in my retirement center, but then I get to thinking, wait a minute, I've got so much to be thankful for. I've got a good warm place in the winter, a good cool place in the summer. I have good food, three good meals a day. I have blessing in that I can come to this computer and put on messages going out all over the world. Hallelujah. And God's blessing them. Little 10 minute messages that I've been putting on for years. Now I have over 189,000 views. That's a miracle of God. Hallelujah. And I got to thinking, what in the world am I worried about? And I'm going to be thankful. I begin to thank God. Best of all, I know Jesus Christ. I've got a home in heaven. Hallelujah. And I'm going to meet you up there. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we have a lot to be thankful for. The Bible tells us to be thankful. Over in the book of uh, Ephesians in 5 and 20, it says, we need to be thankful for all things, for this is the will of God concerning you. Try to be thankful for everything. That's, that's difficult, especially for things that hurt and seem to break your heart. But I've learned to try to thank God for them also. Amen. And so we have to do the best we can where we are and as we are. Be thankful for everything. God is with us. He's going to bring us through. I don't know what you're facing, but I've been tested for a virus. In this center where I live, there's been six people that have been infected with virus. And that means they've gone to the hospital in serious condition. And so they've, they've every one of us have been uh, uh, having to swatch through our nose, and we'll know something in about three days whether or not we have been infected or not. And so I've left it in the hands of God. And I prayed, and I've said, Lord, if it's your will, I'd like to stay here a while longer, get a few more messages. But if it's your will for me to come home, I'm ready to come. Amen. And then I read yesterday, Psalm 118 again, and it says, I will, I will not die, but I will live and not die. And I will declare the works of the Lord. I will live and not die, but I will declare the works of the Lord. So that I believe could be a word of the Lord to me saying, you're going to go through this thing and you're going to be delivered from the virus and you're going to be able to keep preaching the word of the Lord. I pray God's will be done. God's perfect will be done. And so in your life, my dear friend, whatever you're facing, always face this fact that God's will is perfect. And the Lord loves you very much. And he is with you to guide you and keep you close to him. So everything that happens to you, some things you find it hard to understand, that's all right. Leave them at his feet and tell him you love him anyway. And God's going to work it out. I believe it. And you'll receive it. And then there's so many blessings you have. You live in a good country. You have a good family. You have people that love you. You have the word of God. You've got a home in heaven waiting for you, Christian. Hallelujah. You've got Jesus that'll never leave you and waiting for you. And so it's important that we be thankful for everything. 
thankful. Paul said again in Second Timothy, First Timothy, fourth chapter, uh, "Be thankful for everything that God has given, and do not reject it, but be receive it with thanksgiving." Now he was talking about two things in this. If you read the chapters prior to that, when he said that that uh, everything God has made is is good, and so we need, and that's true. But anyway, uh, we need to recognize that he's talking about. One was food, and the other was marriage. We ought to be grateful for the food we eat. Oh, there are many people in the world that are hungry that do not have food. Oh, my. We need to recognize that, that and try to help them. And thank God that you can eat, and you have food to eat, and your family has food to eat. Amen. And then the other thing is marriage. And so husbands and wives, be grateful for your mate as best you can. Try your best to get along and make it all the way through and make your marriage count for God. Be willing to forgive and forget and to go on together. Love each other because God loves you. And so we know that what God has made and put together is good and we need to be thankful. And then, oh God, we need to know truly that God is good. Over again in Psalms, he says, uh, the whole earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The whole earth is full of his goodness. Amen. The sun comes up every morning, never fails. There's, there's the rain that comes down when it's needed, never fails. Everything in the land that is here is for good. God has made it. In the original uh, manifestation, it was beautiful. And it's still beautiful in many ways. And so we need to thank God. And certainly we need to thank God for our uh, manifestation of, of mankind. All of it, the creation of God, made in his own image. And we need to thank God and know that it's well with our soul. And we're going to make it because God is with us. Do not fail and do not think you're going to fail, Christian, because God never fails. Look to him and find strength to go on when it looks like you don't know where in the world you're going. Find in him the peace that passes understanding. You can't always understand everything that happens to you, but God understands, and God has allowed it for a purpose. Look to him and live, and you'll live forever. Do not deny Christ, and he'll never deny you. The blessings of God will far outweigh the burdens. Hang on to him, and you will never, never fall to, true, to falsehood. Hang on to him, and you'll go all the way. God loves you, and he's with you. And so trust him. He's a good God. Over in the book of John, in the 10th chapter, Jesus said, I'm the good shepherd. Jesus is a good shepherd. He cares for you. He loves you as a shepherd loves his sheep. He loves you, he knows you by name, and he's with you to carry you through and to go with you all the way. He loved you so much that he laid down his life for you. And there on that cross, he paid for your sins, all of them. Praise God, he rose again, and he's coming back. And he's coming back for you because he loves you, and he's gonna take you home to be with him forever. Amen. Now then, I want you to pray a brief prayer with me. Just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen. Find your good church and worship God with his people. And remember, Christians, that you know and love and believe in a God that's a good God. He is a good God and he loves you. Praise God and I love you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen.